Hi everybody, this is Beth, the missing YouTuber. I have not been on YouTube now, I don't know, three or four, maybe five months. It's been a long, long time. This is just going to be kind of a chatty video to let you know what is going on in my life now. But first, I did promise you in my last video, which was the video where I told you my life had become overwhelming and I needed to take a step back, that video, I did promise you information about a $5 skincare item that I absolutely love, and I still love it to this day. It is fabulous, and it is actually $3.97 or something like that. And so for those of you who really don't care to hear about my my angst and my kind of, well, it's not angst now. It's actually not angst now. But when I left YouTube, I was very, very overwhelmed and quite burnt out, quite honestly. And I'm going to try to just do this as a very casual video without a lot of edits because I've been knowing that I should do a video for the last couple of months and I was a little afraid to do it. It's odd because when I used to do videos twice a week, I, I, I could do them in my sleep practically. I knew how to do videos and the technology was easy. And then after getting away from it for four or five months, it just felt strange to come into my room and I had to figure out how to turn the lights on again. And something has happened too. My thumbnail for this may not look that great because, and I hate this, somebody on the internet changed something pretty major on the internet and my thumbnail website, where I always went to create my thumbnails, it got super complicated. They had to change their whole format. And so my thumbnail may not be great on this. I'm going to do the best I can. I'm a little overwhelmed by the idea of trying to go out and figure out new thumbnails. But anyway, well, I have my coffee here and I hope you'll have coffee or tea or a glass of wine if you still drink wine. I don't drink wine because about 21 years ago, I realized it was getting out of hand for me. And so I stopped drinking wine, um, went to some support group meetings for years actually on that because they really helped me not just quit the wine, which they did do that. It also helped me in terms of my spiritual contact with my higher power. And for those of you who get offended sometimes when I don't specifically say God, well, I do say God for sure, because that's who I worship is my God. But I really have a respect for all different religions. You know, as long as they're based on love, which most all of them are, and based on the idea of becoming a better, more helpful person in this world, I just don't believe that, that I have to push my religion on anyone. But uh, for those of you who have spirituality, I know that you appreciate it too. Okay, well, that was way off the subject. So let me go ahead and give you my $5 skincare find, which was absolutely fabulous. And here it is. And you wouldn't think that these would be anything special. These are from Walmart. They are mainstays washcloths. You get 18 of them for $3.97. And I am telling you, these have made a tremendous difference in my skin. Now, a lot of people have been complimenting me on my skin lately. Nobody on YouTube because I have not been doing YouTube videos, but my sister even complimented me. She said the other day, what are you doing with your skin? It looks very clear and better. And my sister never compliments me. She's my little sister. I think I compliment her a lot. Maybe being the big sister, you do that. But as a little sister, she hardly ever compliments me, but she did. And I thought, what am I doing? And I know that one of the main things is these washcloths. Now, I had intended to come on and show you a test of these washcloths from Walmart versus the Sonicare. No, wait, this is the Clear Sonic, the Mia Prima, but this is just like any other normal Clear Sonic. And it has the little brush on it. You can scruffle it around your face. But I tried this, removing my makeup with both this and then this the next day, and there was no contest. These remove makeup much better, but I think that this was giving me little scratch. Ah, <laughs> I cough there. I've got a little bit of a cold. I think this was giving me little scratches all over my face. I mean, you couldn't really see them, but it never really gave me that radiant look that I had hoped for using the Clear Sonic. But these little washcloths do. And look, you get 18 of them, and they also come in colors. And the colors are more than these. Like, I think there are, I don't know how many colors, maybe six or seven, eight colors. And I started out using the colored ones. And I have in my cabinet underneath my vanity sink in the bathroom, I put a little cheapy stick on hook so that I could put little holes in my washcloths. You can see I've got the holes there. I've got the holes in the white one too. Here is a white one. But I stopped using these so much because 
I love being able to see how much makeup comes off on these. So what I do is every night I take one of these brand new out of the cabinet and I have a ton of them because they're very cheap. Oh, <laughs> I went a little wild there. I've got two little holes there. But then I get it wet and I put my, oh gosh, what do I use? I can't, I can't remember. I can't remember off the bat what I use to clean my face. But I can see it in my mind, but I can't remember it. So I'll put it down below the video. But I've used it for years. And then I just put it around my face, damp washcloth. Then I turn it over and I get the other side damp washcloth. And then I use other pieces of it until I'm not really getting any more makeup off. And this removes makeup beautifully. But more than that, I think it gives me very radiant looking skin, at least more radiant than it used to be, because it is very exfoliating. I don't know if you can see that, but this is like cheap, 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 rough, rough, rough washcloth. This is nothing you would want to put like in your guest bath because they would think, oh my gosh, these cheap like prison type washcloths, but man, do they ever get all the makeup off your face and then they also, I think, scruffle off that rough layer of skin cells that as we get older, have a hard time turning over. And so it just leaves your skin looking fresher and dewier and just it uncovers beautiful skin cells. And so I would totally recommend you try this. What I do is I get it wet the one evening, use it all over my face. I use this and put it on a hook in my shower. And then the next morning, I use the same washcloth again with my soap. Gosh, what is that stuff called? Oh, I'm so embarrassed. It's, oh gosh, what the heck is it? I want to say Metamucil and that is a fiber. That is not a soap. Anyway, I'll put it below the video. I am sorry. I'm having a menopause moment here. But anyway, so I use it the next morning and then I just wad it up and throw it in the wash. And so these go through like crazy. And this is actually a cleaner looking one than I usually have because they do get stained by makeup. And I suppose if you wanted to put them in with some Clorox, you could keep them white, but I really don't care as long as they will basically show me how much makeup is coming off and when my face is basically clean. Now, the second thing I do, and this is not a $5 thing, but I didn't think it would be helpful to, to just tell you about that. But I think those washcloths alone are fabulous. And if you're not using them and you do use a cleanser, I would use those washcloths. They are wonderful. The second thing that I think has really made a huge difference in exfoliating my skin is this Clinique Clarifying Lotion Twice a Day Exfoliator Number 4. And this is actually the one for people that have acne. And so it's a little bit probably stronger, heftier formula than the 1, 2, and 3 because it comes in all four of those levels. But I saw a person on YouTube and she was like an 80 plus year old model and she was absolutely gorgeous. If I remember her name, or I can find her picture, I'll put a picture up here. But basically, she swears by this. She, she really thinks that it keeps her younger looking, that it exfoliates, that it keeps the fine lines and wrinkles down. And this is probably my second bottle of this is all, but I will not do without this. This is wonderful. And then I just use it with a little cotton round that I get from Walmart. And if I have any makeup left on my face after using the Walmart washcloths, this totally does the trick there. So anyway, that is why I think my skin has been looking quite a bit better. And uh, I wish you'd seen me along the way because you could see the progression. I think my skin does look a lot, lot better. So anyway, that is my $5 skincare item. Okay. Now, for those of you who don't like chatty or who don't really know me, then uh, you might want to leave now because this is probably going to be very boring to you because this is just me talking about why I left YouTube. And I'm going to be nakedly honest with you here, friends, because you are my friends. And thank you for coming back. I hope you haven't forgotten about me. And if you would like to share this video with anybody else, I would sure appreciate it because it is frustrating to do the videos and then not have necessarily that many people show up. Um, I would really appreciate getting more views. That does help me make a little more money, actually, but also it just feels like you're not doing this for nothing. But anyway, okay, so for those of you who know me and saw the last video three or four months ago, I basically hit a wall in my life. I hit a point of overwhelm. My work, I work full time. My sister and I own a company together and it was crazy busy, especially, you know, before the holidays and over the holidays because it's an insurance benefit product. And so January 1 is like the, the go live date for a lot of employer plans. And so from like October 1 on through like February, I am swamped. 
So anyway, there was work. And then my husband was kind of complaining about my videos. I mean, he's very, very kind. And he wants me to do what I need to do to be happy. But he was like, you know, even when you're not in your room editing or making videos, when you're out of your room, you're on your cell phone answering comments. And he really was right. I had really gotten to where I was kind of obsessed with YouTube. And that is probably my greatest strength and my worst problem, character problem. And that is that if I like something, I can do it and do it and do it to addiction proportions. And that is really what happened to me on YouTube. I was spending physically tons of hours, like evenings, weekends, waking up early in the morning to get my two videos up around my full-time work schedule because I'd always thought once I retired, this would be the perfect thing to fill in my days. And I still hope that that will be the case. Um, but I'm still about two years away from retirement, so I do need to keep my channel going. Um, so I'm hoping I can do about one video a week. But I'll tell you, I can't promise you that. You know, I was overwhelmed when I quit. And at first it was a little difficult to not do YouTube, but then all of a sudden I just felt like, whew, I have time. You know, I had time to read. I had time. We did a lot of stuff on the house, kind of updated some wall colors, didn't think about makeup one bit. That was another issue for me is that I really became crazy addicted to buying makeup. And fortunately, at this point in my life, I do have the money to do that, but it's a waste of money to spend as much money as I was, as I was spending. And before I came to YouTube, I probably had five or six, maybe seven cosmetic items. I used the same things for years. I think I had a CoverGirl blush that I used for years called Classic Pink. And I used the same eyeshadow, and I can't remember what it was. But I mean, I used the same stuff for years, and I was not Miss Makeup. Well, then you come to YouTube, and all of a sudden you look around you, and everybody is into makeup, and all of a sudden I felt like I should, should, now my, my eyebrows look funky here, I can tell. <laughs> I felt like I should be telling you all about makeup, but really that was not particularly my expertise at all, or really my major interest. I really like skincare, and so I hope to bring you a lot of good stuff about skincare. And it's not like I won't be bringing you anything about makeup, because I do enjoy makeup, but I really let it get the best of me and I bought way too much makeup. And in fact, in the last six months that I haven't been doing videos, I've really been using everything from my stash. And I'm finding that a lot of the products are very similar. Even if I thought, oh, I'm using the best one, I better go get this mascara because it's the best one. Um, it's probably better for me to choose one of the probably 30 mascaras that I have. And uh, so I've been doing that, which is great. So anyway, I'm trying to figure out where I am in this conversation. Basically, I felt like on my channel, I had sort of veered off into a direction that wasn't particularly true to myself, the kind of buying and testing makeup. Not that I won't do that, but I hope in the future I won't do that as much. The real point of my channel, as I always say, is to make our second half our best half. And I realized after two and a half years of getting addicted to makeup, that I wasn't making anybody's life better, including my own, with such a focus on makeup. I really realized that in my second half, I had some things that were important to me that I wasn't sharing with you on my channel. Things like paying off your house, living within a budget, which up until you know I quit YouTube, I really wasn't doing very well at all. And I have been, again, and I'm really, really liking that. In retirement, I think it's important instead of doing what our culture says, which is to buy and buy and buy and buy and to think that, oh, that new car is going to make me happy or that new house or that mascara or whatever, it's going to be the thing. And that is what we are raised to do in the society is to be good consumers. I didn't watch a lot of commercials because I would always TiVo things and skip through the commercials. But recently, I did have occasion to have to watch things on live TV and I did not realize how many commercials there are, both for all kinds of fast food and terrible for you food, which is truly awful stuff for us, and also just commercials designed to get us to feel like we needed this fancy deodorant or that fancy makeup or that fancy car. And in retirement, I'm not going to be able to go out and buy everything my little heart desires. And plus, over the years, I've realized that that really isn't an approach that makes me particularly happy. What I've really been focusing on in the last six months is good health because I was diagnosed with osteopenia, which is the very beginning of osteoporosis, and I definitely don't want to break a hip ever. 
I have a good friend who's in her 70s, but very young 70s, and she was in her kitchen. She stumbled. She broke both hips and shattered her left arm. And I thought, oh my gosh. And she's kind of tall and thin, and tall and thin women really have to watch out for bone strength. So if you haven't gone and gotten your bone density scan, I would do that. They can do that in many doctor's offices. And that told me that I needed to watch out for my bones. So I started taking calcium and I've started to weight train, which will be another video down the road because I am loving lifting weights. I'm not buff yet by a long stretch of the imagination, but I'm actually getting stronger. Uh, I started out being able to do 16 push-ups, and now I can do 25 push-ups, which is pretty good. So anyway, health is super important in our second half. Um, appreciating what we have and being content and happy in our life is so important in our second half. And I have read some books and really done some study about that. And I have some things to share with you about that. So in future videos, I'm going to be sharing that information. And one thing I've learned about all of that, the positive attitude and also just in general, you know, eating right, exercising, all of that is it all boils down to habits. And there are some simple ways, tools and tricks we can use to develop very good habits in our lives that keep us healthy, happy, and fit. And I can hardly wait to share those with you because I have read two or three books on this subject and they have been life-changing and I'm not kidding. Because finally, I feel like I am becoming happier through doing these things. And that was a problem I had in my first half. I, you know, I look like I have this charmed life. Well, I don't know if I look like that, but sometimes I think it looks from the outside like I do. But in my first half, I was always like, you know, I would achieve something and then I was kind of like, oh gosh, you know, I always find some way to not feel like I was happy, you know, slightly depressed my whole first half. I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd have my moments of happiness for sure, but I had this tendency to go towards depression and I always thought, oh, it's because you have low dopamine, you have low serotonin, you were just born that way. Well, no. Now what I've realized is that I had a habit that kind of kept my mood less than positive. And another thing I've realized through all this reading I've been doing is that wherever we are in life, we really just need to accept responsibility. And I've started to do that. For the bad things and the good things in my life, it's like I am responsible for whatever that is. And yes, some unfair things happen to us in life, but then it's up to us how we deal with it. And uh, I'm really learning that when we take the attitude that we're responsible for our own selves in every way, shape, and form, then all of a sudden we have power. Uh, when I was always thinking, oh, he made me unhappy, or she did this, or he did this, or my kids are doing this, and I'm unhappy. No, I was unhappy because I chose to be unhappy. So anyway, <laughs> this is really just being, I know it's very, very long and very, very chatty. So I guess I need to say goodbye to you guys. I wish I had, oh, I do have a little card deck here. <laughs> My whole area now is so cleaned off, I don't even have the things that I used to have here, but I'm going to read a card and we'll see if uh, God or the universe, and again, I say that just because if you don't believe in God, if that's not your God, I don't want to, I don't want to turn you away. Oh man, I love this. Okay. By spreading loving energy, I attract more love. By spreading loving energy, I attract more love. I just love this card. That's awesome. And you know, right now I am spreading loving energy to all of you out there. I am so grateful for all the beautiful comments that I received in the comment section. You guys were so nice to think about me and remember me and miss me. And I missed you too. And I apologize if I haven't gotten back to you in terms of my comments. I just kind of got out of the habit of thinking about YouTube. And I quite honestly didn't think anybody was going to comment when I didn't have any more videos that were coming out. And then I would look weeks later and go, oh my gosh, people did keep commenting. So if you did comment, know that my heart is with you and I will try to get back to those comments because you all do mean a lot to me. And really my channel does mean a lot to me. And uh, so I guess the whole point here is let's both go out today and try to spread as much loving energy as we can because that always just brings a little more love back into our lives. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.